The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello guys, welcome to the free Salesforce career guidance by Intellogic. This is your school to learn Salesforce on the platform of YouTube. And today we are going to have a five minute lesson, a five minute lesson where we are going to see part 14 of Salesforce real time scenario based interview questions. So we are going to take some five questions, important questions and how you are going to answer that, how you should answer that in the interview. We are going to discuss about that also. So let's move ahead and let's talk about one by one such kind of scenarios. Here comes the first question. What is the difference between normal ID and external ID? Okay, so whenever we are working with Salesforce and internally we have a record ID for identification of every record. But in this case when we are having external data and we are loading the data from external sources into Salesforce. For example data loader etc. At that time to bring a gap or bridge a build a kind of a fill the gap between the salesforce data and external data we need external id by which we can identify the records in salesforce whether they are inserted already or they are new records and this way we can properly load the data from outside platform into salesforce platform for that purpose external id is used let's go for next question how to insert null values in data loader so in this case we need to understand that in data loader we are having a facility where we have a checkbox allow nulls and uh, if you select that checkbox then it is possible for us to actually even load the null data into salesforce data loader so we just need to select insert null values checkbox in the data loader we have that option in the data loader setting so this should be your answer let's go for next question what is fill mapping file in data loader so when they are going to ask you this question then we need to understand that talking about the mapping file where actually we store a mapping of data in the excel csv file and mapping of the data in the data loader columns that is the table columns so we have dot sdl file extension for that kind of files and uh, this way you can answer this question sometimes they will ask you what is mapping file sometimes they will ask you what is the extension of mapping file you should be able to answer by this way okay which help us to map the data from the excel csv file and the data in salesforce table and that's mapping once we are done we can save somewhere so we can reuse that anytime in future that's with dot sdl file we can achieve let's go for the next question what is maximum bag size in data loader? Okay, so in Salesforce, like once we set the batch size, then at that time, 10,000 is the value we cannot cross. So 10,000 should be the maximum batch size in data loader. And let's go for the next question. What is the result of bulk API? So when we enable bulk API, guys, then at that time, we can easily go beyond the limit of data loader and uh, we can load large number of records as compared to the regular data load that we do in salesforce and apart from that it internally uses the bulk api so it is much more powerful than the traditional soap based api and uh, apart from that please note that uh, this is something we use generally we have millions of records in one go apart from that also the bulk api is going to be suitable something for hard delayed operations at that time also we use it or especially when we want to go beyond the regular limit of data loader okay. this is the benefit of enabling bulk api all right guys so that's all with this today's meeting today's session and we are done with the part number 14 some more videos will come for you guys to help you for your upcoming interviews and good luck for your upcoming interviews till then let's meet in the next video